Hello, everyone. Happy Friday to you all. I'm in Mexico right now on the Stampin' Up! Incentive trip. So I'm giving you a recording today. And this week was the start of our new catalog. So I hope you're enjoying it. And this month, I'm going to be featuring the In Colors because we have a fabulous new In Color Starter Kit special. So today, I'm going to be sharing with you these fabulous York Peppermint Patty purses. They hold two York Peppermint Patties, and I have made them in all the In Colors. And I'm going to make the last one um, in the last color right here on this video for you. They are so cute. You will want to make them in all the different colors so that you can share them with your friends and family and neighbors and whatever event you want to. So I wanted to talk to you about two things. One, I have a new host code for the month. So if you're going to order as a customer, um, then I would use this host code here for May 2024. And if you spend at least $50 with me this month, I will be sending you a package of the In Color Adhesive Back Resin Dots. They're very cute and they match the theme for this month. So that's if you're ordering as a customer, please use this house code and if you're spending $50 or more so that you can get this gift from me. The other thing I wanted to talk to you about, the even better deal is doing the In Color starter kit special and so this month the starter kit is still the regular $99 and you get $125 worth of product which is our usual offer but you are going to be getting also an in color add-on package so that will include an extra $82 worth of product and you'll get all of the new in color ink pads in peach pie pretty in pink petunia pop shy shamrock and summer splash you will be getting, I have a lot on my desk here, you'll be getting um, a 20 sheet package of cardstock, eight and a half by 11, four um, of each color. Um, so for 20 sheets of the eight and a half by 11, you'll be getting the in color, matching in color designer series paper. And you're going to be getting uh, 40 sheets of six by six. Plus, you're going to be getting a package of the in color markers. So that's just a phenomenal deal. You're so if you add up the $125 in product that you choose, plus the $82 um, worth of the in color package, you're getting over $200 worth of product for only $99 and the starter kit ships for free. So I'm going to be talking about this a lot this month because it is one of the best starter kit offers that I have seen in a long time. And if you're interested in that at all, I would go to cubiesquest.com forward slash join and um, check it out. I'm going to have everything written down there, everything that you need to know. But if you still have questions, you can um, email me. Brenda Q stamps at gmail.com. So um, I hope you'll think about it and I hope you'll uh, decide to join my B stampers team. All right, I'm going to just set this aside for a moment. Thank you so much for watching my video today. Um, I'm going to have a project sheet as always for my Friday projects, my York Peppermint Patty purses, um, and I will be sending that out on Saturday for you. It includes a supply list, instructions, and on page two, I will also have a diagram for you. But this truly is an easy to make purse, so I know you're going to love it. Um, and I'm I'm sure you're going to find ways to decorate it up even more than I did but just these colors these in colors this time they just feel like summer like spring going into summer they're just like bright and happy and wonderful okay let me switch over to my other camera I'll just tell you about another product um, that uh, what I'm using today to create this label and to stamp this greeting, I'm using the Unbounded Love Bundle. This is a new bundle in our catalog. And these greetings are great. Look, they have hope, 
love, faith, peace. You could stamp those very easily in the same spot. Um, some of these like love never gives up. I think you would have enough room maybe to put them on here, but at the very least you'd have room to put these um, greetings or best of luck, but I decided to use you're a true blessing. Very sweet. And then you have all of these labels and we are gonna be using this one to create that little label that goes over top of the purse. Okay, let's get started. And what we wanna do is we're gonna create the base of the purse first. So we're going to grab our in color designer series paper. And if you get the starter kit, you're going to be getting um, this in your starter kit. So I'm going to grab a piece. This is Summer Splash. It's the last color. I haven't made a purse in it yet. So we're gonna grab it. I'm gonna show you how to make this just on my trimmer today, but you could actually use the scoring board to do part of it as well. So this is a six by six piece. We're gonna score it and then we're gonna cut it. So pop it in your um, trimmer. Let me straighten this up for you. And put the edge right at the three inch mark. And we're going to not cut first, we're gonna score first. Um, so just move your cutting blade out of the way and grab your scoring blade. And we're gonna score this at the three inch mark. So it's scored right now, right here. And we're gonna turn it a quarter turn. Doesn't matter which way you turn it, but you have to just turn it a quarter turn. Right now the score mark is running across horizontal. We're gonna line this up at the three inch mark again. And now we're going to cut. So now we have two pieces and you can kind of see maybe that score line right in the center. We have two pieces that are just ready to go. So um, we're going to also need one other thing. Um, we need this label. So let's go ahead and cut that label right away. And I've got, I got everything laid out, but now everything's moved. So I just have a piece of matching cardstock. And remember, if you get the in color um, starter kit, um, this month's starter kit, you're going to get a package of the multi-pack with all the colors in it. So you'll be good to go. And I'm gonna grab this label right here. Um, wait a minute. I'm gonna grab this label right here with a little stitching on it, because it's cuter. And I'll grab my mini machine. If you have a big, stamp and cut emboss machine, you can use that too. But um, I'm gonna use my mini machine. It's a little less expensive and it's great for on the go projects. So um, it comes with a number one plate, a number three plate and two clear plates. So my machine's tight. So instead of using the suggested number one plate, I'm gonna use the number three plate because it's a little thinner. We're gonna pop that down, pop a clear plate down, grab my cardstock. This is the cutting side, and we'll put that right down on there. Grab my other piece, and we're just gonna go through, and we're gonna cut this little piece. And we'll just pop this out. That's all the die cutting that we need to do for this project. So it's pretty easy. If you're doing a lot of them, I would just suggest doing all your die cutting at one point so that you don't have to, you know, keep going back and forth. Um, it's easier to do assembly line. Okay, we're gonna take this piece right here and I wanna score at the one and a quarter inch mark. So the way we're gonna do that, find your one and a quarter inch mark on your trimmer and scoot that little edge up to the one and a quarter inch mark. Let me just double check my measurement. We don't wanna cut this, we wanna score it. So make sure it's where you want it. Carefully put your holder down and now we're gonna score right along that line. Okay, you can kinda of see it right there. Okay, now let's get our um, pieces ready. We're going to fold along the score line on both of these designer series paper pieces. And notice how this used up 
a piece of six by six perfectly. If you ordered from me last month and you spent over $50, you would have gotten some designer series paper from me. So um, you're, you're going to be able to use um, this in color paper or paper I sent you last month. It's like the perfect size for it. I usually use Tombow and you could use it in this case as well. But for this project, I'm gonna use Tarrant Tape. So I want these little circles to be on the outside. So on the top inside, I'm gonna put a line of Tarrant Tape right up at the top all the way across, just like that. And I'll do the same thing for the other piece, okay? All the way at top, like that. I'm just tearing it off. And then um, I'm gonna take my scissors, my paper snips, and this is gonna help me just peel this off. Take off that liner and take off that liner. And now we're just gonna fold them shut, okay? So now you have two pieces with pockets like this. The one thing you're gonna have to remember now is you want the pocket down at the bottom. So the place where you put your tear and tape, that's the top for both of these pieces. So my tear and tape is right up here. We're going to take this piece. It doesn't matter which one you take, but you're gonna choose one of them. And you're just going to put another line right up at the top. Now we're gonna take our ribbon and guess what? We have ribbon that matches all of the in colors. I'm gonna just grab those out. Plus, let me just grab this. We have them in all the in colors. Plus, we have a new color this year, just one new color, which is basic beige. So we also have it in basic beige. So you have all of these colors that you can buy ribbon for. And it is just so much fun to have ribbon that exactly matches your cardstock. It makes my life so happy. I'm going to grab my ruler. Let me see. Did I tell myself how much? Huh. I thought I put on my thing how much, how long the ribbon needed to be. Oh yes, I think I did. It's six inches. I'm, I'm almost certain it is six inches because I did a diagram and it, it was six inches. Yes, it was. Okay, so let's cut six inches of summer splash ribbon because that's where we're doing everything in summer splash on this project. Okay. And we can just take this and just make it straight. All right, so this piece right here, we're going to take the liner off. Oh yeah, it is on my project sheet already. I was just looking at the wrong spot. So we're just gonna lay this down on here. And then we're going to kind of loop it. You can decide which way you want the loop to go like this or like that. And you're just gonna stick it right in the, the turn tape. So you're just gonna kind of bend it around like that. And then we're gonna come back with just a teeny tiny bit more of tear and tape. I'm gonna cover just a little bit of the ribbon. Just a little bit of the ribbon and then just go just a teeny tiny bit further. And this is just gonna help the other side adhere to everything. And then we'll just peel this off too. Okay, so now we have this extra piece and see we still have this adhesive all along here and then we have adhesive here and adhesive here. So you wanna make sure your tear and tape portion that you adhered, that's up at the top and the pocket goes all the way to the bottom. And then you're going to line those two pieces up and sandwich that ribbon in between the two pieces. And then just press down all along there, okay? And what you wanna have is pockets. You see, the two pockets are on the bottom and all the tear and tape lines up at the top. All right, now we can take our little piece right here and we can grab our greeting and we can grab our Summer Splash ink pad. So um, I've only used this once and this is really tight. 
when you get them, they're tight. So if it's tight like this, when you open, just use something to pry it open, okay? To get it going, like your bone folder or something like hard that you can twist. Oh, like a, 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 a nickel, something that you can grab and just open it. And then we're gonna fix it. We're gonna fix it so it isn't a problem in the future. Because this is just tight and not lubricated. So I take some, I have some Burt's Bees, um, or you can take some other chapstick. And I just run it along the edge right here and right here. That's all it's gonna take. I've already done this with my other ink pads, but I wanted to show you that. When you get your new ink pads, they're always a little tight. And now you're gonna close it and open it. Now it's no longer a problem. So I've opened this before and I didn't put any um, chapstick on just to show you because it was still tight. But now I can open it without prying it open anymore. So just use that little trick just to help your ink pads open a little easier. And then I can slide it closed. We're gonna take this. And this has a smaller half and a bigger half. <laughs> well, it wouldn't be half then, wouldn't it? But this segment's bigger and this one's smaller. So find the bigger segment and you're going to stamp your greeting at the top of your bigger segment. So right about here, like that, okay. Then let's close this up because I don't wanna get inky fingers. And then we're gonna grab, these are fabulous. Look at these resin dots, they are wonderful. This is also the gift that is going to be sent to you if you spend $50 with me this month. But if you get the starter kit, you can put this on the product portion of your starter kit. And that would be a good little extra to put on there because then you have all the ink colors plus an embellishment to match. If this one is sold out, there's also a sparkle pack that is very similar to this, this one. Um, and let me see, it's like this one right here. It has all the ink colors in it too. Um, so this pack would be a good alternative pack, but I thought these looked more like buttons. So I'm gonna use this one. Let's grab the bigger one. I'm gonna lift that off and I'm just gonna put it right down there, right under my little greeting. We'll set these aside. And now I'm going to take glue this time and I'm gonna put it on the inside of this on both sides. And then we're, this has already been folded we just need to decide where exactly along here would be like the center. Just try and find the center point and then press down. Press, 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 press. Okay. So now this is great because you can make a bunch of these flat and then when you're ready, you can put the peppermint patties inside. So we're gonna grab these are the ones I'm using, York Peppermint Patties. You'll need two of them. And I love York Peppermint Patties. Oh my gosh, they are so delicious. That's why I normally don't have them in the house because I don't wanna eat them all. I have a real thing for chocolate and mint together. It's good stuff. So we'll just slide them in. That's all there is to it. You are not putting any adhesive in here but there's enough tension because it's a pocket you haven't really opened it unless you really give it a good shake i uh, see i'm holding it on the side they are not going to come out they're not going to come sliding out so it just works really perfectly with the tension and it's just a wonderful little project got a lot of stuff on my desk let me shove some aside so let me just show you how wonderful these all look. I have these laying down now. Oh, so much stuff on my desk. All right, I can't even I can't even get everything gone off my desk, but you can see how pretty these all look together and you can just imagine having a fun display of these at whatever event. What could be a birthday, it could be a church event, an anniversary, a wedding shower, 
These are such a cute thing. And look at that greeting. You're you're a true blessing. Isn't that sweet? And it's they're they're really easy to make too. So definitely um, something you could do if you wanted to add a little bit more you could add like a flower on the corner or a heart or something but they look good just like that just like that just really pretty all right so remember if you want to get my project sheet you need to be on my email list to get on my email list look in the description below for this video and you will be able to uh, sign up if you're already on my email list you are already getting my all my project sheets each week i don't just send you one i send you one each week so that you can keep crafting and um, so you just need to, to get on my list um, to get that. And if you're looking for past project sheets, um, you will get a welcome email and the welcome email will have that link for you. I also post that link for you on the bottom of my Saturday emails so that you can access them and get my uh, project sheet. Um, so if you're new to this uh, channel, I hope you will subscribe so you can see more projects that I do. Um, use the notification bell so that you can get notified when I go live. I love it when anyone leaves me a comment and if you give me a thumbs up, that would make me really, really happy. I will be back um, to my regular Tuesday, Friday schedule next week. Um, I go live on YouTube at 10 a.m. Eastern on Tuesday and 10 a.m. Eastern on Fridays. So I will have my regular schedule. I'll be back I'm from Mexico. I'm coming back this weekend. Um, thanks to all of you who helped get me to Mexico. I really, really appreciate it. I work really hard during the year to bring you fabulous projects and thank you so much for those of you who order from me my followers my team i appreciate all of you all right i hope some of you decide to join my b stampers team and um, take advantage of that fabulous in color starter kit special all right i will see you all next week bye everyone